so we are officially making our way north for Alaska. I guess if I had to pick a video or a time or a place where kind of our Alaska route has officially started, it would be here in Thermopolis, Wyoming, somewhere around the middle of the state. Everything's like Opolis. There's like a Dinoopolis and um, I don't know, Playground Opolis or whatever that is over there. And they're really working on the Opolis stuff. <laughs> but uh, Marissa found this place on the map. It was actually an hour out of the way. I figured, pff, you know, we're already driving like 72 hours. What's one more hour gonna matter? So we uh, <laughs> came a little bit out of the way to come here, but this is pretty cool. Inslee, you ready to swim? <laughs> I can't go without my floaty. Oh uh, no, we'll get your floaty, we'll get your floaty. She just woke up, so. <laughs> We're still figuring out our groove on this whole um, traveling insane long distances. So we started in Wellington, Texas. When I looked at Google Maps, it said like two days and seven hours, 10 hours, I don't know. We were filming there for the RV Nomads. And so we left there. John. Hensley, what's wrong? No, we got your floaty, it's in the van, I got it. We were filming there for the RV Nomads. We left there, drove like six hours. I looked at the map and we're still like two days and seven hours away. So I'm figuring RV time. Yeah, somewhere around 72 hours. It's gonna be a lot of driving. <laughs> but we're kind of figuring out the pace. We're figuring out this whole like treating the Airstream and the van as like one extension and just going to things with the Airstream. Not so much we have to like find an RV park, unhook, leave the Airstream, take the van. We're like, hey, this looks cool. Let's just take the van with us. And I think for the most part, most places we go, it works out. Um, plenty of room here, it's been fine. However, I will say, do not try to go to the Children's Museum in Denver. We saw it was right off the interstate. And we thought, yeah, we could swing that. Yeah, we couldn't. <laughs> we couldn't get into the parking lot. It was full. We ended up having to go through downtown Denver. It was like late on a Sunday. We thought it'll be okay. Denver's always crazy. So we gotta be careful where we try to do this. But most of the time, if it's a touristy-ish kind of place, we're usually pretty good to take the Airstream with us. Hey, Mom, so let's go. Yeah, you ready to have fun in the water? He said, we will find your floaty. Come on, come with me. You come with me and get the floaty? <laughs> Don't be upset, we got your floaty, it's okay. Come on. There you go. Good to go. What else do we need? We need a towel. Get our big beach towel. Can you smell the sulfur, Hensley? It's minerals. <laughs> it smells like Yellowstone. <laughs> it does smell like Yellowstone here. Does it smell like a stinky geyser, Hensley? You are zoned out. <laughs> well, this is Marissa's pick. Anything with water, she's all about it. Oh, I love mineral pools and hot water. And especially after riding in the car for days, I felt like this would be a really good place to just kind of, everybody can have fun and unwind and we can kind of move around a little bit in the water. So Hensley is pumped. That's how we got her traveling so well is we kept having little surprises along the way. And this is one of the surprises. So this is Hot Spring State Park in Wyoming. What's cool about this is it's a free state park and you can actually take a 20 minute soak in the water for free as well. It's like uh, these people over here. Yeah. So that's kind of awkward, but we're gonna move on. <laughs> or they've got other options. With Hensley, we're gonna take her up to this star plunge and it does have a little bit of a fee, but there'll be some stuff for kids to do and slides and fun things like that. A lot of playgrounds and stuff here. Yeah. And a buffalo over there. It's really See buffalo awesome. Hensley? <laughs> not a real one. Actually, there are real ones around here too. Yeah, they've not, got but... herd, like one of the largest herds of bison here. There's lots of stuff to check out and all these things are right here close together, conveniently located. It's a really cool place. Watch monitor. Yeah. I guess it's clear. That was fun. Ah, here she goes. 
Say, let's go, mommy. Let's go, mommy. Cannonball. <laughs> Whoa. Was it as high as it uh, looks? <laughs> I didn't think about it. I just went. <laughs> Is it ready, mama? Almost ready. This is definitely pretty cool that we are able to make dinner right here in a parking lot and get to use our solar. Um, our batteries have been working out great. So this is really cool that we're already saving money. Just like we probably would have eaten out at this point because I wouldn't have been able to heat up things um, to get dinner going. We're still getting a feel for... I guess the balance of when we want full hookups and when we don't, we've definitely gravitated even more toward we don't care if we have full hookups or not now with lithium, but there's still times we want that shower, which Marissa just got a long shower in there. So that worked out good for that. Yeah. So we got to swim and soak in hot water and then extra bonus, you get to have a shower when you're done. We've went without hookups for a few nights now. That was really nice to be able to just stretch out and soak and get a shower and explore all at the same time. It's actually really neat that we are, have been taking our home with us everywhere and we're just pulling it in the parking lot of everything and that's been really handy. Like our bathing suits were here, our towels were here, our food is here. You know, we can get a shower, come back, eat dinner, go back out and explore, and then we'll take off and yeah. go find somewhere to park tonight. I mean, we haven't unhooked yet. I don't know when we'll unhook. Unless we're staying somewhere a couple nights, I don't think... Um... I don't think we'd even unhook. We just keep the, everything hooked up. Home. What do you think? Home. Home. That's very, very helpful, Hensley. Tonight we've got. It's always Taco Night, isn't it? Well, Hensley requested. <laughs> Hensley requested. I'm good with tacos. Fast, Mama. I am so hope fast. Show me how fast you can eat. Make sure you chew it. <laughs> All right, I'll show you one. Taste it. Oh. All right. <laughs> What's your buffalo's name? Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob Buffalo. Technically can't tell if it's a buffalo or a woolly mammoth. Hey, let's follow this path and see where it goes. Come on. Where does it go? I don't know, let's find out. I think it goes to hot springs. Yep, I think you're right. This is like Yellowstone all over again. Mammoth, 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 mammoth springs, springs, I guess. A little less crowded. Just a little. So in addition to learning that taking the Airstream into downtown Denver was not a great idea, oh, yeah. um, we also it's ran into a storm. I guess we're still in the panhandle of Texas or something. It was it was looking pretty crazy. Uh, just lightning, 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 lightning. Um, so we ended up pulling like under a gas station. We were looking for a car wash. Yeah, we were looking for anything. Or... Marissa was checking in online and they were saying there's hail like the size of, uh, I can't remember what, like, anyways, big hail. Oh, <laughs> Which is not good for an Airstream. Uh, so we're having to watch out for that. Well, the biggest fear, if you're driving an Airstream, is is the front, because you're you're you got to think if you're going 65 miles an hour into hail, that gives it that much more velocity to do damage on your Airstream. Look at this, Isley. Wow. Isn't this pretty? Is that cool? It's cool. Okay, since we're going over mistakes, um, another mistake we made. <laughs> I didn't fill top the tanks before we came this way. There's like a two-hour gap with no gas stations to fill up, and we saw. An amazing state park. Our if, you, if you're coming from south to game. north, what was it called? Benson. Benson State Bay, Park. Base, Basin. Basin. It's a state park <laughs> about 30 minutes south uh, of where we're at. Didn't know if I'd have fuel to get here if I took the time to stop and go into the state park and everything. It was that close. But <laughs> it is an incredible drive. Yes, it it's, is it's a, so beautiful. It was a surprise to us. We mm -hmm. did not know that that no, was on the way no. here. This is a beautiful area, man. back ride probably getting the blood rush around around like that that has been her favorite book and doll 
So thank you for the Ross family for sending that to us because she has been reading that every night. I mean, every night. Even when it rains, still a lot of fun out here. Beautiful. It is beautiful here. We've never, we came close to Cody before, but never quite stayed here. And, um, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you have fun today? Mm -hmm. yeah. What was your favorite part of today? The playground. The playground? Yeah. We actually did play at three playgrounds today. Yeah. So I'm still figuring out, um, long range travel style or whatever. Let's see how close we are to Fairbanks. Don't look. I'm gonna look. I've already looked. You already looked. So we're officially under two days on Google, and I know you might be thinking, well, Nathan, you said you were like 72 hours away from Wellington, but this is Google time. Like RV time is like 20%, maybe more than that of what it shows. So if Google says 47 hours, I mean, it could be still like 60 hours. We've knocked out maybe 12, 15 hours. I don't know. A lot of driving, but we get to see some really cool stuff yeah. along the way. So that's really helped. Just small mini goals is kind of our game plan. We've had a long day. Probably drive again some more tomorrow. But uh, until then, we're gonna get some sleep in a Walmart parking lot and we will catch you guys later.